right. So um, I want to read to you now. I know that was all of, that's a whole topic, what I was talking about, you know. And I, I have a little bit of a different angle. It kind of encompasses it, but a little bit different angle. But Holy Spirit, we just honor you right now. We just completely and totally honor you. Have your way. Speak to me. Do what you do. And we give glory to the, to the King of Kings, Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, I was looking at Matthew chapter 4, verse 23 and 24 for the last couple of weeks. I think I'm in the, I'm in the New King James. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease among people. Then his fame went throughout all Syria, and they brought to him all sick people who were afflicted with various diseases and torments. Say, uh, um, various diseases and torments. And those who were demon-possessed epileptics, and paralytics, and he healed them. Say it again. He healed them. So uh, Hebrews, I believe it's Hebrews 13, 1 says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever, right? Has he changed? He's not changed. Is he alive? Okay. All right. And so I've been fixed on that word torments, um, you know, and I thought, well, let's just define torments. What is torments, you know, if you look at it in the, in the uh, Greek? And it, it's basically broken down as torture, torment, and severe pain. Okay. People who are experiencing torture, torment, and severe pain, okay? In addition to you being demon-possessed, epileptics, and paralytics, okay, and having various diseases. And it says here that he healed them. He healed them. They were bringing to Jesus, okay, I think um, uh, she brought out uh, earlier about the woman, you know, who, uh, who went to Jesus because she had heard about him. She had heard about Jesus, and she found him, and she, you know, basically reached over to him and, and grabbed his, his clothing, and he felt virtue leave uh, because, you know, she had, she had faith to pull that from him, pull uh, out, out uh, from him who he is, Jehovah Rapha, the Lord, our healer. He's your healer now. Are you hearing me? He's your healer now. Not tomorrow, not often, the, you know, w whenever. He's your healer now. And that includes torture, torment, and severe pain. You know, as I was journeying through this uh, process of mine, and I've had some, some groups online, and I would hear their stories, okay? And, and that's why I, I'm like, I, I recognize why he put it in there, that he heals you from torture, torment, and severe pain. He heals you from demon possession. You actually have to be healed many times from demon possession because because there is a door open in your soul that has allowed Satan to torment you. He does not play fair. Okay? I'm very convinced when he says, I give you double honor for your shame, is because trauma has a, two, a, a twofold punch. It, gra it gets you in childhood, and then it gets you again in adulthood. And you need a double blessing. <laughs> and so let's look at salvation. Can we look at salvation? Because if we're going to talk about healing, this is something, there's an emphasis coming into the body of Christ. I believe that it's going to co-labor, partner with the prophetic, uh, you know, and everything. But, but it's going to, it, it really, there's an emphasis of salvations and miracles. And we have to really understand what, what is in the atonement. I know you're a well-taught church, but for those of you who are visitors here, I want to make sure that we all get this. Romans 10, 13, it says, for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved, right? We know that there is only one way to salvation. There is only one way, one name for, for you to be saved, and that is to believe with all of your heart in Jesus Christ. Amen? You can't have, you can't make your own path. You can't make your own rules. You've got to go through the one path, and that is Jesus Christ. And so we see in several instances in the Bible that just like you are saved, okay, for those of you taking notes, this would be point number two, just like you are saved, you are also healed. Just like you are saved, you are also healed. It is in the word of God, all right? Uh, how many of you know how to be saved? <laughs> like you know. 
You know, I have faith. I know. I absolutely know I'm saved. Even if I have a rough day, even if I have a rough season, I know I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Okay, I know that I can confess my sin, and he is faithful and just to forgive me of my sin, right? I know these things. I know salvation. I know. Just like you know salvation, he is, in, he is saying to us, you can know healing. You can know healing. Okay, Psalm 103, verses 1 and 2. I am still in the New King James. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your de diseases. It's amazing to me that that is in the same breath. He forgives all your iniquities, who heals all of your diseases. Did you hear how we would define diseases? We defined it as diseases, torments, demon possessions, paraliz paralyzation, epilepsy, okay, and all kinds of various diseases. He heals all your diseases. Everybody say, all your diseases. We see it again, Isaiah 53, 4 and 5. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. We esteemed him stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him. And by his stripes, we are healed. There we see it again. We are forgiven and we are healed. It's all in the same breath. All right? And then we see a, a wonderful example of this played out in Mark chapter 2. I'm just going to paraphrase this. And this is when um, there was a gathering uh, in Capernaum, and Jesus was there. And there were some men who came in. They brought a paralyzed uh, man. There's four who carried him in. They couldn't get to Jesus because it was too crowded. And so they lowered this guy through the roof. Right? They lowered him through the roof, and Jesus saw their what? Faith. Because faith is really important. We have to believe. We have to believe. That is the undercurrent of the miracle. Okay? I love it when the, there are times when the Lord bypasses that and he just heals you anyway. But you want to maintain that thing? you got to have faith. All right? So you saw their faith. You said to the paralyzed man, son, your sins are forgiven. But did he come for his sins to be forgiven? Is that why he came? He was paralyzed. They dropped him through the roof for heaven's sake, okay? I mean, they just opened up the roof and dropped him in because he was paralyzed. He wasn't there to hear, son, your sins are forgiven. <laughs> that would be frustrating to me. I'm like, I don't really care. I want to be <laughs> I just really want to get out of this. All right. And the teachers of the law were sitting there, and they're thinking, why does he talk like that? And then, uh, you know, they said he's blaspheming. Who can forgive sins but God? And Jesus knew in his spirit. All right? That's a discerning of spirits. He knew in his spirit what they were thinking in their hearts, and he challenged it. And he says, what's easier to say? He said, uh, you know, uh, your sins are forgiven, or get up and take your mat and walk. Do you notice that he puts it all in the same thought? What is easier to say? He's forgiven or be healed. Which is easier. And to prove his point, he said, uh, get up and take your mat and walk. And he got up. It's all in one thought. If you are saved, just like you are saved, you are also healed. Let that sink into your spirit. Let that sink in. Okay? And so, just like... You don't tolerate sin. You also do not tolerate sickness. You see, if you are sick, and I'm talking to people online because I know if you're here, you're probably feeling good enough to be here. <laughs> All right? Unless you're sitting in the back on your own, but... Um, but if you are sick, okay, if you are tormented, God wants to heal you. He wants to heal you. Exodus 23, 25, and 26, he says, I'll take sickness away from you. The number of your days I will fulfill. He said in Exodus 15, 26, he's speaking to 3 million people. I am the Lord who heals you. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. 
Jeremiah 30, 17 says, I will restore health to you and heal you of your wounds. And if you read that in context, he's addressing those with incurable wounds. What did he say? He said, I will restore health to you and heal you of your wounds. I have a question for you. Is God honest or is he a liar? Now, I want to dig into your heart right now. May I dig into your heart? <laughs> Often, we believe God will heal some people, and we're, and we're genuinely happy for that. We're, we're happy for that to happen. But I want to ask you a question. Will he heal you? You've got to know this. You have to, you have to be able to answer this question. And there, please, no condemnation. I don't... I don't Treat these kind of messages with like a, this should, you should feel condemned because you're not there. I, that, I'm inviting you into faith. I'm inviting you into a whole other level of thinking, okay? Um, you know, it, 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 we've got to settle that. Will he heal you? Because once you've settled it, once you've, you've dealt with uncertainty, then you're going to step into healing either by faith or in the anointing or in the glory or in the anointing for working of miracles, whatever is an operation, okay? Um, uh, you know, but you have to settle that. You know, if you want to know if it's God's will to heal you, then, then just like Jesus answered the leper in Mark chapter 1, okay, his response to you is, I will. He's not willing that anyone should perish, okay? That includes salvation as well as healing. And just like everyone is invited to be saved, everyone is invited to be healed. Amen? Amen. Everyone is invited to be healed. We're coming out of a season where we have been taught to be sick. We've been taught to all sorts of stuff about sickness and disease, and, and whose report are you going to believe? We're going to believe the report of the Lord. Amen? Amen. All right, and so everyone's invited to be saved. Everyone is invited to be healed. Okay, he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is still healing today. And so one of the things that I do uh, in regards to this is I know that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Romans chapter 10, 17. We've got to be word people. We're going to have to start spitting out the word uh, more than we spit out the news. Okay? It's very important. We have to shore up our tongue and our heart and everything and be very diligent with this. So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Faith is really important. If you come into a meeting like this and the healing anointing begins to, to fall. That's great. But if you don't have faith in your heart, it's very hard to lay hold of it. And so we have to work on that faith level, that faith element. All right. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Faith believes God's word. Faith speaks God's word. Faith acts like God's word is true. All right. And so we see in, um, uh, you know, she, she pointed it out, I had it in my notes here, about the woman with the issue of blood. She hears about Jesus, and she has faith. She hears about the miracles, and she has faith, so much so that she breaks the social rules, and she goes and finds him. And she breaks through the crowds. She touches the hem of his garment. And what does he say to her? He, he, he says to her, daughter, your faith has made you well. Because there was, a, there was faith in her. And he could feel it. It was the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Her faith, her faith. He said, daughter, your faith has made you well. Yes, Jesus is the healer, but she had to have something to pull, to pull it out of him. All right, her faith. She just simply believed that he, he had what she needed and she went and got it. You need to believe and go get what you need, you know, all right, because he is these things for us. Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. Be healed of your affliction, all right, and so, so he is our healer. 
He is our healer. His word heals. His word, uh, you know, when people begin to call out words of knowledge or they begin to say this or, uh, you know, the Lord's healing this or the Lord's healing that, it's because he's sending forth his word and delivering you, Psalm 107, 20. Um, the healing anointing, I think it's always important to bring some instruction, like what do I do when his power and his presence is here to heal? It's different than moving out in faith. You're going to keep your healing by faith. You might get it in the anointing. You know, literally, I have been in many, many meetings where people would get massive healings inside that meeting because of the power of the Lord is there. I remember someone who got healed of um, uh, diabetes, okay? But unfortunately, the person didn't know how to keep it. They didn't know how to keep it. Like, they clearly, like, their numbers completely shifted by the next day. You know, and I, I, I'm not sure what that meant. You know, I can't give you the actual numbers, but I remember the, the report from the mother. And the mother was telling me the numbers have shifted. Everything is, like, very, like very different uh, from yesterday. Unfortunately, they didn't know how to keep it. They didn't know that I have to know the word of God. I'm going to have to rehearse the word of God, okay, that, that, that he is my healer, okay, that by his stripes I was healed, that just like I am saved, I am also healed. And, and the thing about this, the reason we have promises like this is because there is always contradictions. You know, they, they didn't have, I don't know, the, you guys, you know, there was a contradiction. You know, the Bible says be fruitful and multiply. Well, what's going on here? I should be fruitful and multiplying. That's what the word of God says. But I have a contradiction. Okay, for some reason I have a contradiction. This is why we have these promises. This is why we have, we have to say, say, I know what I see. I know what's happening to me. Um, I may not necessarily know why. Okay, but I do know my God. And I am going to break through this. I felt like there was breakthrough all over your daughter. I felt like this breakthrough thing all over. I'm like, I almost said, I, I love the name you chose for her. But I said, I said, but inside, I'm like, but she, she's also breakthrough. That, I, I don't know what the Hebrew is for that. Okay, but, but, you know, I'm just like, but she's also breakthrough. I mean, in every direction, she is breakthrough. Okay, and, and so, um, you know, learning how to break through a barrier with faith, breaking through a health barrier with faith. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And so the anointing many times will be present for healing, okay, and words will start to go out, you know, he sends forth his words and heals them, all these things, and you know, and, and, and you, you, let, you, you take it, okay, but you've got to keep it once you leave, once you leave the meeting, once you leave uh, the place. You've got to know how to keep it, all right? And so let's talk a little bit just about that healing anointing. Uh, you know, we read about that, Luke chapter 5, on a certain day he was teaching, there were Pharisees, there was teachers of the law sitting by, and he came out of every town of Galilee, Judea, and Jerusalem. I love it when the religious are sitting by. They're sitting by. And the power of the Lord was present to heal. Okay? The power of the Lord is present to heal. You can discern that anointing. It's a healing anointing. It begins to fall in the room, okay? It begins to flow in the room, all right? And then, and then people, like, like chains begin to break, okay? And you step into it. You grab hold of it. You lay hold of it. Don't sit back in your chair. Don't just wait. Actually, actively grab it, okay? The woman with the issue of blood, she found it and she grabbed it. All right, you got to learn how to grab it, all right, and, and uh, not be passive. When the healing anointing is present, you go after it. You grab it, all right. What does the anointing do? The anointing breaks the yoke. The anointing breaks the chain. The healing anointing breaks the chain of sickness off of your body, okay. You were never intended to stay sick. You're not intended to stay full of cancer. You're not intended to stay with that tumor, okay? I really feel like the Lord is putting breath in your lungs today. There are people here, you need breath in your lungs. I release the breath, uh, the breath of the Spirit into your lungs right now, okay? Please understand my heart. I do not condemn anybody for having a problem. I'm just teaching you how to get, how to resolve the problem in the Lord. 
Amen. And there's breath in your lungs. That he's giving you breath in your lungs. All right. He's releasing that. He's releasing fresh strength in your body. Uh, he's actually giving your taste and your smell back in the name of Jesus. He's restoring those senses back to you. Those are God-designed senses. You need that so you can discern in the spirit. That is a, a point of discernment by the Spirit of God. You cannot lose two of your five senses, okay? You can't lose that because it means that you knock out some of your discernment as well, and we cannot have that, all right? And so I just release the fullness of the gift of discerning a spirit where you can, you can taste it, you can smell it, you can hear it, feel it, see it, okay? I just release that in Jesus' name. Okay, all right. He is filling your lungs with praise. Okay, those of you who are having a challenge with your lungs and your lung capacity, you need to praise. You need to praise out of. Go ahead, I'll do it now if you need to. I don't care. You know, it just you need to start shouting to the Lord because He fills your lungs with praise. Amen, amen, amen. Can we speak in the prayer? speak in our prayer language? Lord, I just thank you for your power and your presence to heal. Lord, I thank you for the outbreak of miracles in this place, God. I thank you, Lord, for your glory being released, God. The glory of the Lord, the glory and the presence and the strength of the Lord. In Jesus' name, she's running. Look at her run. Okay, she's getting something back. She's taking something back. Hallelujah. Karaba shokete. Shokete, if you need to run and get your lungs back, just start praising him and run. You've got to get your breathing back. Breathe again, breathe again, breathe again. This is a prophetic church. Breathe again. The breath of intercession, the breath of praise, okay? The breath of worship. He fills your lungs with worship. He fills your lungs with praise. He is creating the fruit of your lips, okay? Intercession is coming forth. I just speak Isaiah 40, 31 over you because you are in his presence, and he gives you strength. Your youth is being restored like the eagles, okay? You will run and not be weary. You will walk and not be faith in the name of Jesus Christ. I just thank you, Lord. If you need to be healed today, stand up and lift your hands to Jesus. Just lift your hands to Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, I just thank you for the power and the presence uh, uh, of your spirit to heal today. You see, if this is what church looks like, this is what sickness is doing to the church. We cannot have this. We must push back. We have to push back on this thing and learn how to walk well and walk hard whole. Amen. It is about purpose. It is about uh, the strength to finish your race. There was not one feeble one among them. The Lord took out all the Israelites, not one feeble one among them. There is precedent for this, okay? He wants to work in our bodies. He wants to work in our minds. He is setting people free of torment. He is setting people free from intense pain. Intense pain. I don't know where you're at. I feel the fibromyalgia like screaming at me right now. Who is that? Just say, that's me. Just say, it's intense pain. Come to the front. Just come to the front. Just stand there in the front. Just stand there, okay? Come on, let's keep our praise. Let's keep worshiping. Let's keep worshiping. Let's keep worshiping. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He healed then. He heals today. He'll heal tomorrow. Lord, I just thank you that pain is leaving their bodies. Lord, torment is leaving their bodies. That you are unlocking, unlocking the, the root of it in Jesus' name. Come on, come on. He is setting you free. He's setting the pain is coming off of you. Pain is coming off of you in Jesus' name. He's a deliverer. You're being delivered of this pain. He's delivering you now. Just receive it. Just take it. Take it. Lord, I thank you that you are coursing through her body and her blood. Lord, that, you, that she is being released of this pain. All right. I want the rest of you, just, I want you to reach out to Jesus. Just reach out to him. Just like the woman with the issue of blood. That's 12 years. That's torment. But he heals you now. Lord, 
Thank you. You heal her now. You heal her now. You heal her now. He is your healer now. He is Jehovah Rapha. He is your healer now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. It looks... Back, behold, I can see this thing coming out of you. Come on. Just receive. Today's your day. Today's your day. Can I have you praise him, speak in tongues? Kalama shekete. Lord, thank you. Come on. Come on. Creative miracles, Lord. Pain, go. In Jesus' mighty name. Jesus' mighty name. I see a healing ministry coming out of you. In the name of Jesus, be free. Receive, receive, receive. Pain, go. Torment and pain leaves. In Jesus' name, let it go. Let it go. It's not for you. It's not your identity. You're healed. Come on. Ha, ha, ha. Power of God. Hallelujah. If your name is um, Barbara or Tammy, come to the front. Find me up front. Barbara or Tammy. Okay, if your name is Barbara or Tammy, come to the front, all right? Barbara or Tammy, is Barbara or Tammy here? All right. <laughs> Somebody's screaming. Okay. <laughs> all right, Lord, we thank you. Let's just praise him, amen? Come on, let's just worship. I want you to stay in worship right now. Can I get some keys? Can I get some keys? Can I get some keys? Okay, all right, or anything. Uh, guitar is fine. Hallelujah. Is there, was there somebody named Barbara or Tammy? I'm going to, it might, uh, it, was it you? Are you Barbara? Are you Barbara or Tammy? Okay, all right. Is there a Barbara or Tammy? If you have a relative that you can get on the phone named Barbara or Tammy, I've seen this miracle so many times, okay? Get them on the phone. Come up to the front. Bring them on FaceTime. Barbara or Tammy, I know the Lord is speaking to me about this, okay? All right. All right. Was it you? Barbara. You're, okay. Put her on FaceTime. I've, I've seen this miracle so many times over the phone. It'll be a relative. They get, they get saved. They get healed everything. Thank you, Lord. But as this music begins to play, I want you to stay in worship because we've got to keep this atmosphere lifted to Jesus. We've got to keep his name at the forefront, okay? At the forefront. The Lord is healing of colitis. There's a colitis being healed in the name of Jesus. Somebody has um, it's a rash. There's a rash that's being healed. All these things started dropping in this morning on me. There's a colitis being healed. There's a rash being healed. Is that you? Come over here. I want you to stand right here. Just stand right here for a bit. Just stand right up front up there. I'm going to come back to you in a minute, okay? All right. Barbara, you got Barbara on the phone? Let's, let's talk to Barbara. Okay. This is Barbara. What's going on with Barbara? Okay, okay let's, uh, Barbara, can we hear you? Yes. Barbara, the Lord gave me your name this morning, and he's doing a bunch of healing, physical healing in, our, in the service today. Is that something that, that you need? Yes, I can use healing in my spirit. Okay, all right. Everybody is stretching their hand to you right now. So I want you to just feel the power and the presence of the Lord coming over the phone to touch you, to heal you, to set you free. In Jesus' mighty name. Just lift your hands to the Lord wherever you're at right now, Barbara. Just begin to praise Him. Just begin to magnify Him. And I believe that there's, I can feel the power of the Lord going over this phone. I can feel, Barbara's having an encounter right now. Hallelujah. <laughs> Come on, Barbara. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Lord, I just thank you for your touch in Barbara's life. Thank you, Barbara. Okay. Tammy, are you here? Tammy, why did the Lord give me your name? Do you need to be healed? 
Yes. What's going on? Um, I've got an ICD and a pacemaker. Okay. It's really unusual for, for you to get a phone call from a meeting that you're not at. That means that the Lord knows you and he knows where you're at. That he will reach from a meeting like in another state and, and find you. You see what I'm saying? This is really, really incredible. I want you to understand that he is, Lord, your healer today. Lord, I'm going to, wherever you're at, Tammy, I'm going to ask you to just lift your hands and just begin to say the name. Begin to say the name of Jesus. And we've got, all these people are stretching their hands at you right now. Lord, we just thank you for Tammy. You sent forth your word to heal her. Lord, this is an unusual miracle that you do over the phone, that you do over the airways. And we just thank you, Lord, for power to heal. In Jesus' mighty name, begin to pray in the Spirit. Begin to pray in the Spirit. You're just as much a part of the healing team as, everybody, as, as, as I am. Listen to them. They are praying for you. They're praying for you. This is the Lord touching you long distance from this, this church. And Lord, we just thank you for power and presence to heal. Let's just give the Lord praise. Yes. What's her name? Barbara. We're going to do one more, okay? Barbara, hello. Yes, hello. You. Barbara, are you needing healing today? Yes. What's happening? Uh, with everything. With my marriage, with my health, I can use some healing. Okay. Thank you for praying for me. God bless you. Can you stay on the phone for just a few more minutes? Can sure. you yes. Can you lift your hands to the Lord and just begin to say the name of Jesus? Yes, and Jesus. Okay, just begin to encounter him. Close your eyes. Just begin to see him. Yes. Heavenly Father, you are a total healer. Lord, yes. you are a total healer. And Lord, we just engage your presence for Barbara. Barbara, who needs healing in her marriage, who needs healing all over, who needs yes. healing 360. She needs a 360 total healing. Jesus. All these people are praying for you, Barbara. Thank All you. these Thank people, they're praying for you. Thank you. You're not even here in this meeting, and they are praying for you. Lord, we just thank you for Barbara's life. We just thank you, Lord, for a total turnaround. We thank you, Lord, for deliverance in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for lifting the, the, uh, the curse off of her life, the curse off of her marriage in the name of Jesus, that you are restoring her identity as a, as a mighty intercessor and power woman of God. In Jesus' name, that you are restoring her to her place. You're restoring her to her ministry in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I just thank you, Lord, that the air around her is clearing, Lord, from demonic interference. Lord, we take authority over every demon that has afflicted her life, and we command it to go. In Jesus' name. And we just thank you, Lord, that you are positioning her for strength. You are positioning her voice to speak. You are positioning her to pray and command things to be done, and they will be done in the name of Jesus. Barbara, thank you so much. Can we give the Lord praise? Now you had, there was an issue with the rash, right? I want you to stretch your hands. Okay. Okay. Well, we just thank you, Lord. Lord, that you're healing skin. Your healing skin. Thank you, Lord, for the skin miracle that you are doing in her life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. The Lord is touching her. The Lord is touching her powerfully right now. Lord, we just thank you that you are healing skin. He wants to do more in you than you think. Lord, I just thank you for 
There's a massive breakthrough happening in her right now. It's more than the skin. It's more than what's happening with her. There's more that's happening with her. Come on, let's give the Lord praise. We want to thank him for everything. We want to thank him for everything. We want to thank you for everything. Is there cancers and tumors in here? Is there cancers and tumors? If there is, please come to the front. If there's cancers and tumors in here, please come to the front. The Lord's going to blast out these tumors. Where? Is there, is there more than that? Is there more than one? Is there another one? I will pray for that child. I will. Just hold off, okay? If you need to find a, another place, I'll come find you. Okay, I'm going to pray for that child. Is there another cancer or tumor? Yeah, I, I will pray for the child somewhere, somewhere in another room, but I will happily pray for the child. Lord, I just thank you for healing, for power and presence to heal. Put your hand on where the tumor has been diagnosed. Where was it? Where was it? Okay, okay. Lord, I just thank you that you are healing her. Let the power of God blast the tumor. Let the power of God blast this tumor. Shrink this tumor. Command this tumor to go. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. There it is. Power of God. There it is. Come out of her. Jesus' name. All the people around you are getting blasted. That's how strong the power of God is on you. More, Lord. More. More. I am feeling demons of affliction leaving people right now. Lord, we just thank you that it goes. We thank you, Lord, that it goes in Jesus' name. Take your healing now. His power is here. His power is here. Wherever you're at right now, just receive, just receive, just receive. Put your hand on the body part that is afflicted, okay? And just begin to speak the name. The name above everything. You're the shoulder. Lord, command the shoulder to be healed in Jesus' name. I wrote this down on my notes this morning. I knew it was coming. I want you to go ahead, stretch it. Yeah. Can, <laughs> can you not? You, you couldn't do that? So, Lord, we just thank you for perfect healing in the shoulder. You're going to get healed. Just do it. Go for it. Lord, we just thank you for the healing. We thank you for pain, leaving his body, for you reconstructing, putting ligaments and tendons and different things in there. In Jesus' name, I'm telling you, I feel, I wrote this down this morning. In Jesus' name, <laughs> just receive, just receive it, just receive it, okay? Lord, we just thank you for perfect and total healing. Stay, stay in the anointing, okay? Stay right here, okay? Thank you, Lord. Okay, put that, put your hand on the body part that you need, okay? And just begin to receive. Begin to speak the name. The name above every name. When you speak the name, it has to happen. It's, uh, uh, he, he, his name is above every other name. Shoulders are being healed, okay? Pain is being healed in the name of Jesus, ma'am. I, I feel the presence of God on you. Yes, you. No, you. You. Okay. <laughs> I feel the presence of God on you. Sorry, excuse me. I won't fall, I promise. Lord, I just thank you for the presence of the Lord. Head to toe. Hold. Breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough. Power of God. Power of God. Receive, 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 receive. Your heart is being healed. Your heart is being resurrected. Your heart is coming back to life. You're going to feel again. You're going to see again. You're going to discern again. You're going to prophesy. You're going to intercede. You're going to feel the presence of the Lord like you haven't felt his presence. There's the power of God right there. There's a the power of God right there. Power of God right there. Receive, 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 receive. I talked to you earlier about your voice being restored. Come up to the front. I got it. I appreciate that. Thank you. Come up to the front. You were, you were running, and you have this cane? That's crazy. That's the Lord. This person right here, the Lord. Uh, do you go here? Do you go to this church? Are you nearby? Do you have a church? Okay. Okay. 
Well, they have a lot of good ministry training here because the Lord is calling you into ministry. So, Lord, I just release a fresh anointing. Power of God. Yeah, that's it. This is power of God. I feel the love of God all over you like he's embracing you. Do you, do you play music or something? I do. Okay. More, Lord. More. Let him do everything right now. Let him do everything right now. We're here for you. You are, you are safe. You're safe here. I, I, the, the psalmist, the words, the poetic words, I saw him untie your tongue. Lord, I just thank you that music is coming out of this man like, like never before. Hallelujah, Lord. Fresh music, fresh sounds, a psalmist anointing. A psalmist anointing. He's calling you. I see a, a deliverance anointing coming upon you. Look for You're anointed to set the captives free. And you're anointed, okay, all right, to bring them out of captivity. And, and, and also to heal the brokenhearted. And so there's going to be incredible sounds and music come out of you. And, and, and the room is going to be healed. People in the room are going to be healed in the sound and the presence of, of this, this music that the Lord has ordained you with and trusted you with. And I also see him anchoring you. Anchoring you so tightly to him. He says you won't fail. He says he holds you up. He upholds you with his right hand. He's holding you. And he's got your feet. He's holding your feet. In other words, he's going to make sure you walk where you're supposed to walk. And so I see this, this confidence coming into you to go ahead and break into anointing like you, you've never, ever tapped this because you weren't sure if you can hold, hold it and, and, and last. And he says, you're going to last. You're going to make it and you're going to finish well. And so I speak that over you in the mighty, powerful name of Jesus, an anointed minister, an anointed psalmist, a deliverer, a prophetic singer, a song creator. In Jesus' powerful, mighty name, can we say amen? Amen, 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 amen. Come on, let's give a praise, let's shout. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. There's deliverance in the house. There's healing in the house. There's healing in the house. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. I'm feeling pain in the feet. Where's the pain in the feet? Where are you? Come to the front. Um, he, he, I got all this download this morning. Pain in the feet. Is there more? Please come to the front. Yeah. And you too? Okay, well, he's telling me why. Great. Okay. <laughs> he's telling me what it's about. I think for like probably 95% of you, and we just lost our music, but that's okay. Sing a song to the Lord. Oh, Where's this I'm guy? Right no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, okay, all of you have pain in your feet? Okay. All right. So um, this is because of, um, out of Joshua, this is about... Um, the land that you're supposed to take. And it, I've noticed that, especially in prophetic groups, I'll notice that we'll see the fight in their feet. It's just this weird thing. And so um, the way I've always treated it, and the Lord takes it as like a, a deposit. If you're just like, yes, I will take greater territory. It feels like nations. Um, you know, it feels like, like nations. Like if there's a nation in your heart that you haven't yet gone to and you're supposed to, Okay, it, if you will just say yes sincerely, um, the Lord accepts your yes as like, like he will give you his word and you could trust it. Well, he accepts it just the same. And he will actually release your feet right now. <laughs> all right. And so um, who are all those people? You start, where's the start? Where, so many of you. <laughs> oh, God, how do I do this? Um, okay. So I'm going to ask you to stretch, stretch your um, hands to the Lord. And um, I'm going to invite you to just have a very quick conversation with the Lord. 
and just begin to tell him yes to that territory. And it may be something you already know in your heart, or you may sense that there's an expansion coming and you're not quite sure about it, but, but this is the day to say yes to it, no matter what it looks like, okay? Um, he's really into doubling things these days and doubling the nations you impact and all of that kind of stuff, all right? And so, Lord, we just come together, and, Lord, I just, I just come in agreement. I come in agreement with the yes, and we just release the feet. I'm just going to tap your feet just as a point of contact with my own foot. Just release your feet. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And I want you to go ahead and start walking out on it you got to walk out on that. Lord, just thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There it is. There it is. There it is. You're going, you're going to go. you got a big, that's right, no more pain. Your battle is over land. Okay? This is what's showing up in your body. I don't know what they diagnosed you with, but really what's underneath it is you're to take land. Release, release in Jesus' name. Lord, I just thank you. Greater territory. Greater territory, Lord. Greater territory. Lord, just thank you for that expansion. In Jesus' name. Just begin to walk out on it. Just begin to walk out on it. Like, just really force the issue. Force the issue. Lord, I just thank you, Lord, for that territory. You're going to take it. In Je there it is right there. Take it. There it is. Come on. There it is. Take it. Take it. I, you're going to, you, you got a go sign on you. G-O in a good way. Lord, I just thank you that she takes it. Take it. No more pain. You got the same issue this other lady has. It's a fight for land. I know maybe things have, have, I feel like there's whole, this whole thing of like, You've attached your pain to certain things. And the Lord says, don't do that anymore. He says, he says, it's deeper than that. And it's really more about the battle between him and Satan over your purpose, over the call. And like Job, you're faithful. Like Job, you're faithful. And the Lord's giving you double. He's giving you double. Daughter, your faith has made you well. Jesus name pain lift out of her body out 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 feet back muscles all of it come out oh there's the peace of God right there <laughs> Woo! can we just give Jesus praise right now lift him up I have no idea when this service ends. <laughs> All right. Lord, we just want to thank you right now. Lord, I just, I just released two graces in greater measure here. The, 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 the anointing for healing and the gift of working of miracles. Yeah. And Lord, I thank you, Lord, that many shall be saved as a result. Lord, the dinner bell is ringing. Yes. The dinner bell is ringing. The dinner bell of healing. The dinner bell of miracles. Literally, literally the unsafe flock to this kind of thing. So, Lord, yeah. we thank you. We praise you. Just release it. Uh, release it over, over Patricia and, and, and Peter and Proxy. Just in greater measure. Yeah. I know they have it. Just in greater measure, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I see the waters really rising in this realm. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you. Praise God.